Bat Moscow is easily reached from Leipzig and Dresden. Prince Hermann von Pukla Moscow wanted to create a park here that looked like an art gallery, with something new to marvel at with every few steps. His idea has become an artwork in itself, combining nature and architecture on the banks of the River Nysa. You can see an idealized landscape stretching all the way to the horizon. There are no barriers, borders, optical or acoustic interference. That's Pukla's active approach to landscape design, which the park still embodies. And it's very enjoyable, even if we're not surrounded by Germany's major cultural centers. After World War II, the German-Polish border cut the park in two. Much of it was destroyed. Since the fall of communism in 1989, Germany and Poland have cooperated to restore the park. The so-called English Bridge has been rebuilt, based on its original designs. Since 2011, it has connected the park's Polish and German sides. There are two central bridges linking the two halves of the park. You really need both bridges in order to follow the pathways Pukla originally envisioned for the park. The ruler designed the park in the style of an early 19th century English garden. Its layout provides uninterrupted views of carefully placed bridges. The neo-Renaissance Newcastle was once a royal residence. Now it is home to a permanent exhibition about the prince's life and work. A cosmopolitan with many interests, he loved making an impression. And he certainly did that with Moscow Park. It attracts some 300,000 tourists a year. It's roughly the size of 800 soccer fields. You can explore the park in a horse-drawn carriage, in a boat on the river, or by bicycle. Guided tours take place on a regular basis through the entire park or tailored to individual subjects. Visitors learn that the prince altered the course of the Nysa for his park, resettled an entire village, and planted 800,000 trees. We're the beneficiaries of Pukla's vision. It can't have been as beautiful then as it is now. It's been quite an experience. It's fantastic. We definitely have to come again. <laughs> The joint efforts of Germany and Poland were rewarded in 2004, when Muscal Park became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's a superb example of how understanding and cooperation can succeed in a unified Europe.